Hi, I'm Lee with Aspire Advocacy, and today's video is about parent burnout. We are all juggling work, relationships, children, and dealing with our kids' school district. It's normal and it's very human to say, I can't do this anymore at some point in time. It can be a result of a combination of many things, or it can be things are just going badly in one area of your life and you just need to step back a bit. But I wanna tell you as a parent, and an advocate is there are times you're going to have to between ieps and our kids having special needs and navigating that system there's going to be times when it feels like the school district is either not cooperating or is actively making our lives more difficult i'm not saying that one should burn out and stay burned out i'm simply saying it's okay to say i can't do this today when you receive news that the school district is not following your child's iep or that the speech therapist didn't provide the mandated services all week it's okay to take a few days it's okay to take a week or two. What I want to ask you to do though, is to honor how you're feeling at the time, take care of yourself, and then make a date on your calendar to come back and take care of it. If you need to have an IEP to discuss it, you can schedule that. It's gonna take 25 to 30 days from the time you ask for it. And odds are, if you're burned out when you ask for it, you're gonna be feeling a little more manageable by the time the IEP comes. If not, then that's the topic of a different discussion. But often, that'll give you time to figure out what you wanna say, what you wanna do about it, and how to talk to the district. It'll also give you time to figure out if you need to file a compliance complaint if, for instance, they aren't appropriately implementing your child's IEP. To simply push through when you're burned out, though, is gonna make it twice as hard. Now, I've had years I've been burned out, and maybe you're thinking, yeah, what am I supposed to do then? In that case, take a few days, take some deep breaths, and then tackle it when you can, and tackle as much as you need to. Sometimes we just can't do the heavy hitting all the time, and between different agencies, you've got the regional center, you've got the district, sometimes you've got medical challenges, you've got insurance, there's so much going on. Maybe you're getting outside services for your child. There's a lot to coordinate and we all have finite time and energy. Prioritize, make a list, go down the list. And as I said, when you're feeling burned out, honor that, take a little bit of time to step back and take care of yourself. It's a marathon, not a hundred meter dash. Pace yourself accordingly. If you'd like more information on how IEP advocacy works and what we can do to help you, please give us a call. You'll find our contact information right after this. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. Bye.